in Trinidad, located just off the Churchill Roosevelt Highway in El Socorro. There is something big going on. Meet Jason. Enthusiastic, passionate, a little crazy. He doesn't simply modify cars and trucks. His creations are the result of a driving passion for the perfect combination of innovation, power and style. But the real boss is Diesel. His opinion is worse than his bark and his bite. The big decisions get put on his plate for a thorough chew through. This is the team that will take your ride to new heights. This is Bad Granny. So today we're going to explore the use of CNG and check out exactly why there's such a growing demand for it in Trinidad and Tobago. Let's take a look at what CNG actually is. Compressed natural gas, or CNG for short, which is basically methane stored at high pressure, is a fuel which can be used in place of gasoline, diesel, and propane, otherwise known as LPG. Not only is CNG easy on your pocket, it is also environmentally friendly and is the cleanest burning transportation fuel on the market today. CNG burns cleaner than petroleum-based products because of its lower carbon content. CNG produces the least emissions of all other fuels and contains significantly less pollutants. Before you had to install a conversion kit in your car to run CNG, but now you can get these biofuel cars straight from the show. This option for new vehicles is starting to pop up at local dealerships as the demand for CNG continues to grow. Let's head over to Honda to see what they have to offer. You hear us talk about conversions and converting gas-powered vehicles to CNG. Now we have the Honda City, which is basically bought by Honda. Its factory installs CNG. Now this car ranges from $150,000 to $169,000. It comes with keyless entry, push-button start, Bluetooth, rear reversing camera. I mean, this is a crazy little car for that price. 1.5 engine. It's amazing. And the fact that you could fill it up for $14, $15 and do 200 kilometers plus, depending on how you're driving, is crazy. They also sell a maxi taxi which is $275,000, costs $45 to fill up, can do 400 kilometers and sit 15 people. Check all the people at Honda. The cars that don't come buy fuel from the factory, you'll have to take it an authorized CNG conversion company. For trained and qualified technicians, converting a gasoline car to CNG is a relatively routine process which can be completed in under two days. To take a look at this installation process, we head to Burmax CNG. So we're here at Burmax CNG, and we're going to do some installs of a CNG kit in a Mitsubishi Lancer. Uncle Nasa and the boys are ready to go, and they're waiting on us. I'm um, actually running a little late, so I better hurry up. So I'm here with Amrit, and he's basically got all the components he needs to use when he's going to convert the car to CNG. So tell me about it, Amrit. Basically, oh yeah, yeah, it's everything you need. Mm -hmm. All right, we have the ECU here. Yeah, let's see. All right, right. the harness. Mm -hmm. so we will be run from the ECU tower. I guess that goes there because it's... All right, yeah. Okay. Clips, the water holes. Right. And we have the filling valve, mm -hmm. nozzles. Nice, nice. All right, these nozzles and I'm just screwing. On the bottom? Right. No, not here, but screwing on the, um, the intake manifold. Okay. I'll just use that piece of hose to connect From here to there? Here. All right. So the hose the butter. Okay. Right. There's the high pressure CNG line. Right, coming right from, from the tank? Yeah, from the tank to the front of the vehicle. Right, um, we have the map sensor here. Right. We have the fuel filter. Uh -huh. We have the regulator, the most important part, the heart of the system. The pressure regulator. And this is the, the manometer gauge. Right. And that just goes right here. Uh -huh. So, um, so the, you need to filter the gas? Yeah. Well, what comes out when you filter it? Alright, like some of these stations are poorly maintained. Uh -huh. right? the, so is it water or is it debris or no, what? Like oil. Well, water can't get into the lines, okay. but any contaminants get in, the filter props it. That way it have a service mileage to oh, change the filter. I never thought that the gas had been filtering, but yeah. I guess we learn something every day. Well, thanks, buddy. I'll let you all get it. Let's see how we. Ready? You ready? You ready for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
true. <laughs> These guys at Bremark move really fast. So for an in-depth look at how the installation is actually done, we are going to break down the process into four easy steps. Step one, insert brackets and tank into the trunk. Objective, install the CNG tank itself. First up, we're going to look at how they position the tank. Once positioned, they secure the tank brackets onto the chassis of the vehicle. To secure the tank, they drill through the chassis and use sheet metal plates to reinforce the bolt at the back of the car in the trunk area. The Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards regulations state that the mount must be able to take eight times the weight of a full tank of CNG. Step two, connect the CNG lines to the engine. The objective is to get the injector signals to regulate fuel for acceleration. First, we start by integrating the CNG harness along with the existing vehicle wire harness. We must locate injector wires and determine which one is actually the signal wire for each injector, as one is for power and the other one is for the signal. When you find the signal wires for each injector, you actually splice the signal wire and connect it to the CNG harness. The CNG harness will have its own wires that will connect to the each injector as labeled. This allows for the pulse of the CNG to moderate the level of CNG that is being injected into the engine. The CNG tanks essentially piggyback off this existing petrol system. We then drill the intake manifold and run hoses from the intake manifold to each CNG injector. For a four cylinder, four hoses, and for a six cylinder, six hoses. You plug the CNG harness into the CNG injectors to complete the release of fuel of CNG from the tank to the engine. <laughs> I am a taxi driver and I am proud to be part of the transportation industry in Trinidad and Tobago. I am the eyes and ears of the city and I know that switching to CNG has saved me thousands every month. Before the switch, I spent $120 a day and after the switch, I fill up twice per day with $14 each time. With the new price of Super, I would have to pay $130 a day to fill up. But because I use CNG, I only pay $28 a day. Even though time's hard now, I don't have to worry as a taxi driver and I'm happy with the savings I get in my pocket by switching to CNG. Thank you CNG for making my life easier. Switch and save with CNG today. At Truck, we are constantly evolving and moving forward by manufacturing our batteries using cutting-edge technology at top state-of-the-art facilities. We are moving forward by providing nationwide service centers to provide convenience and top quality service for our customers. We are moving forward to provide our customers with a broad range of batteries that cover all uses so that you get what you need. In today's world, everything is easier. It's easier to start, easier to navigate, it's even easier to communicate. Why can't it be easy to own my new car? Come in today and drive easy with JMMB. Your best interest at heart. Step three is to insert the pressure regulator. This is to get CNG to the engine. A working PSI for an engine is between 35 to 65 PSI. Now CNG is stored in a tank at over 3,000 PSI. So you have to bring down the pressure of the gas and this is what the pressure regulator does. It can be mounted anywhere in the engine compartment depending on the availability of space. We then reroute the coolant hoses making a loop through the pressure regulator. When a loop through the pressure regulator is made, it provides heat to the regulator and steps the PSI down from 3,000 to 35. Step four is installing the receptacle. The receptacle is basically so you can fill the tank. We need to find a good place to install the component into the engine compartment, not near the battery or the exhaust. Run high pressure lines from the receptacle to the CNG tank in order to transfer the gas from the receptacle to the tank. Also run a line to make a connection from the refueling receptacle to the pressure regulator. This is done so that we can get CNG from the tank back up to the regulator. So the CNG install is finished. 
injectors are in, the receiving valve is in, the regulator is there, all the wiring to the ECU in the car is there, all the plumbing to the rear tank is also in, the tank is done, a nice good professional job by CNG Burmac team. Basically it's ready to go. So this car is now clean, energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Taxi drivers and transport companies in particular save the most with conversions because of the long distances they travel. The winner of the NGC CNG conversion kit, Jonathan Solomon, is a perfect example. He usually spends about $150 to fill up every two days. At this rate, his gas bill is about $2,250 per month. With the new CNG kit, it will only cost him $20 in gas per day, allowing him a savings of $1,650 per month. So let's head down to Duma Enterprises Limited to check out the installation and see what Jonathan has to say about this. So I'm here with Rajiv from Duma and we're about to talk about conversion taxi to CNG. Hey, thanks for coming Jason. No problem. So what made you decide to get into CNG conversion? Well, we saw a growing demand for CNG after the fuel price had increased. Mm -hmm. And um, we also saw it as an opportunity to earn some extra revenue. And it also fell in line with our company's policy in terms of implementing more environmentally friendly solutions. So is there any difficulties in obtaining a license? Difficulty, I won't say difficult, but more like challenging. You see, in order to obtain a CNG service license, you need to apply to the Ministry of Energy and fulfill certain requirements by the Ministry of Energy and other governmental organizations. Once you do that, you will get a CNG service license. I mean, CNG is the fuel of the future after all. Well, that's great, man. Well, let's go and check out this car and let's do some conversions. And yeah. for once, I wouldn't get my hands dirty. Let's go. Let's go. My name is Christian Rampasad. I'm an auto technician at Lumo Enterprises Limited. Today we'll be performing a CNG retrofit on a Nissan Y12. Hi, my name is Pranawati Sankar, also known as Antipat. I love doing what I do in transport school children. They make my day, they make me be so happy. When I'm alone, these children can bring up your mood. So I'm happy doing what most important, transport and school children. Now that I switch to CNG, I must tell you, it is a money saver into my pocket. I used to use $300 in diesel per week. Now I'm using $150. I have children going to university, children going to secondary school. I'm a single mother. I had to put food on my table and now I could see the money in my pocket to provide for my family. At Truck, we are constantly evolving and moving forward by manufacturing our batteries using cutting-edge technology at top state-of-the-art facilities. We are moving forward by providing nationwide service centers to provide convenience and top quality service for our customers. We are moving forward to provide our customers with a broad range of batteries that cover all uses so that you get what you need. In today's world, everything is easier. It's easier to start, easier to navigate, it's even easier to communicate. Why can't it be easy to own my new car? Come in today and drive easy with JMMB. Your best interest at heart. I'm Jonathan Solomon, I'm the winner of the CNG Conversion Kit. I'm a taxi driver for roughly about seven or eight years. Uh, my taxi route is from Brazil to Arima, sometimes Arima to Piaco. Actually, I was kind of surprised that I won a CNG, you know, came into the Trinity gas station to fill up some gas and 
You know, I saw this guy giving out some entry forms concerning his CNG kit. And my daughter asked me to enter. I was telling her, you know, daddy, I wouldn't really enter because I don't, I'm not accustomed to winning anything. She said, well, still enter, still enter. So I told her, well, all right, take up pen, I fill out the form. And while driving out, I didn't know where to put it. So I saw the guy that actually gave me the form. I told him, you know, I finished with it. I gave it to him, he entered it. So about a week or two after I received a call from Dumas saying that they want a CNG conversion kit. I told this man, I was like, teething up my head because I already win nothing in Trinidad. Man said, yeah, you win a CNG conversion kit, you know, we are called for that for details and stuff like that. After taking most of my information, I realized, well, you know, this sounded serious. I got a call the following day. Now, I was pretty much excited that I actually win something then. So I'm looking forward to installing my CNG kit. One of my major concerns about um, the conversion was my trunk space. Actually, when I saw the trunk space, I didn't really lose much of it. It was done very good. They kept a lot of my trunk space, so I was very pleased. Now that I know the amount of money that I'll be saving, I think that I'll be doing a lot more traveling, spend some more time with the kids, just enjoying life, a lot more money to save. With the financing that they have now, I think it is worth it for a lot of people to start doing it because it's just 550 a month for two years. I think that, you know, all the taxi drivers and them should really invest in this saving if they can't afford it. The twelve thousand dollars a month, you know, city banks, they would invest in you, give you a conversion kit so you could be on your way to saving some money. So a few people, including Quincy, believe that a gasoline car and a CNG car can't compete in terms of mileage and fuel economy. So we're here to prove that wrong because I believe a CNG car is more efficient, costs a lot less to get around the country, including the fuel institutions. There are a lot of them now in Trinidad today. So we have two teams on two identical cars. Mine, is, of course, is running on CNG, and Quincy Zone is running on fuel. So what we're going to do is we have $220 budget to get around the island, and we're going to drive that today. We're going to pull up here, and we're going to get on a trip. We're going to go down to Chagramas and head all the way up the road, and we're going to see who fares better and who has um, more money left to do good things like buy food and drinks and extra stuff like that. I bet you those guys are going to get in a fight because they won't have any money. And if Danny runs out of coffee, well, oh, oh, that is it. Talk done. So today is going to be interesting. Jason said that there's enough CNG stations around the country, but I believe in gas. Jump in. You ready to go? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, but team A. Team A. Thanks, Daniel. So we started off with a budget of two hundred and twenty dollars. Spent a hundred and twenty on gas so far. We have a hundred left for the day. You think we can make it with a hundred? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We we'll try our best. <laughs> <laughs> so we all pulled up. We had Chagramas at the boardwalk. Basically, we're going to start from here and we're going to go on our road trip. We've um, spent $14, so we still have a lot of money remaining. I think we can get some uh, doubles. Doubles, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> I think three? Yeah, I'll have about three too. Yeah. Okay, that's good, six doubles. So tight budget girl, how many doubles do you want? Two please. Uh, we only have a hundred for the day, you know. I think you could get one. Can I leave that drink? No, we only have a hundred. We have to go all the way to Toko. Oh my god. Can I have some coconut water? Yeah. <gasps> Can I have two? Nope. <laughs> oh. Yeah, big man, let me get two nuts stand up, please. Woo!
We are the Toko Lighthouse. Yeah, we reach. Can't even buy anything for the girl to eat. She asked me if I could catch a fish. Well done, yeah, I think we would definitely need to put some more gas and we have less than a hundred remaining, so I highly doubt we could get anything else to eat. Well, you better learn how to catch a fish, because I ain't starving to deep. <laughs> well, you're too cool. <laughs> you I'm in the right spot. <laughs> Saving these days can be tough, but I knew that my husband was trying his best. I wanted to save what I could to make the most of our upcoming anniversary. So I switched to CNG and began saving hundreds on my gas bill. Better up, please, and don't forget my change. No sin. <laughs> I must admit that it was tempting at times to spend the savings on myself. Girl, buy this dress with your CNG savings. Think about yourself. It didn't happen overnight, but in the end, I saved enough to buy the dress and get the dream vacation. Oh my. What would you do with all of your savings from switching to CNG? At Truck, we are constantly evolving and moving forward by manufacturing our batteries using cutting edge technology at top state of the art facilities. We are moving forward by providing nationwide service centers to provide convenience and top quality service for our customers. We are moving forward to provide our customers with a broad range of batteries that cover all uses so that you get what you need. In today's world, everything is easier. It's easier to start, easier to navigate, it's even easier to communicate. Why can't it be easy to own my new car? Come in today and drive easy with JMMB. Your best interest at heart. So leaving Toko, we had to make a small diversion to Rima to fill up with CNG, only because the CNG implementation in Rio Claro was not completed yet. So we just filled up for $14, actually $13.96. So just under $14. I paid them $15 and I got a dollar change. Are we going on the road again? So we've been driving for 180 kilometers now, down to half tank of gas. Just reached the Mayaro. I'm sure we have to stop for gas, but I'm not sure what we can get to eat because we have to put at least six dollars. That would leave us with two dollars. Authentic barbecue. Hi, good evening. Hi. So we'd like to order the lamb food with fries. And I want the ribs and fries please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. What can you eat I know. I don't know. Probably some bread. <laughs> bread and peanut butter. Well, I think we could afford one burger, one hot dog, and two drinks. That's only burger. <laughs> burger is yours. One burger and one hot dog, please. $45. All right, thank you. Yeah. 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 
this hot dog still is me. Mm -hmm. Think I might need a little more. Maybe I'm biting your burger. Seriously? <laughs> With what money? Hot dog stuff? It's alright. Not bad to down my burger though. <laughs> Definitely not gonna fill me. But we'll make it. Yeah? We'll see. <sighs> Back on this lovely road. Oh, that hot dog did nothing for me. I'm still hungry. Well, we only have money for gas, so you're staying hungry today. <sighs> So that was the last of the budget. We had 45 left. I really hope this gas gets us home. to stop off at different locations, eat, and still have money at the end. I know why people are making the switch now, and it's a great idea. So I can definitely see why this switch is important. I mean, definitely beneficial economically. Today I had to starve a little bit. I had to stay a little bit thirsty compared to Stephanie and Jason. I mean, I can even get a drink with my double. So think about that every month. Definitely the switch is important. So I guess I was wrong. You can make it around Trinidad using only CNG. Jason only had to make a small diversion to find a CNG gas station and still spent less than $40. But with more gas stations implementing CNG, I can really see the value in switching to CNG. So it has been proven. CNG savings are real. It only took us $38.55 to drive around all of Trinidad. Even though I drove an extra 36 kilometers to fill up with CNG, I still spent $127.45 less than Quincy. So at the end of the day, I still had $1.45 remaining. That's about a litre and a half of CNG.